Okay, good morning. Well, we're changing plans. So it's, uh, what, 9, 9.30 a.m. It's snowing. See, there's already some snow buildup happening. Uh, the temperature is dropping by the minute. So this morning we woke up about 4.30 to the wind. Um, rocking the truck, making some noise. Temperature was dropping. Wasn't too bad, um, but getting absolutely next next to zero solar. So I threw the generator outside, and then I realized that I didn't fill my extra gas can for the generator. So all I have is the gas that's in the generator tank. I also forgot to fill the fuel tank for the diesel heater. Boom! When I was in town yesterday. So I'm prepared to get myself stuck up here with no way to make electricity or heat. So I decided we're getting out of here. So we're gonna go back to the other location that we were at before this because it's right off the road, it's way easier to get to. And because here, if I leave here to go into town and get fuel and stuff, I don't know that I can get back here. So I got out there bundled up and loaded the bike and everything and we're ready to pull out now i'm just letting the truck warm up a bit clear the windshield and uh we're gonna go into town get gas for the generator get diesel for the heater and we got plenty of food got plenty of water and then we're gonna drive about 15 minutes back the other direction because i'm still hanging around this area to wait on packages so we're gonna go back to that other location that's um, hopefully a lot easier to get to than this is. So we're pulling out of here. Poor Lefty, I had to take him out for a really abbreviated walk this morning, let him do his business back in the truck. I hate when I have to do that. But he kinda, he knows the drill. So, we're gonna hit the road. This is crazy that it's snowing. It's absolutely snowing outside. It's absolutely snowing. <laughs> this is crazy. It was 92 degrees two days ago. Bye. So, take a look at this. Holy S-H-I-T, right? It is coming down. Like, um, so just for reference, three hours ago, there was not one bit of snow and the ground was dry here. Three hours ago. So, what I did here... Uh, I ran the diesel heater earlier, the diesel air heater, 
because I wanted to make sure it was going to be okay. And it was still like 45, high 40s here. Not a bit of moisture. It was looking gray, but it hadn't yet hit this part. So I fired up the diesel heater. It started on the second attempt and ran. We ran it for about an hour, hour and a half. It was running fine. And then all of a sudden, I got the E08, which is fuel supply issue, and it shut off. So I went out, you know, and I had already looked over everything. Everything is installed just perfect. Um, I, I filled up the diesel tank with fresh diesel. So I, I hit it again and restarted it. Started right back up. Was running for about 20 minutes this time. It got so warm in here and I had it running on a high setting. Um... So after about 20 minutes, I clicked the button to turn it down a little bit and the pump stopped clicking. Like as soon as I hit the, I went duk, duk, duk and hit it down to like 3.5 hertz, which is 3.5 clicks per second or 3.5 seconds per click. I'm not sure, but um, the pump stopped clicking. So obviously it shut off again, E08 fuel supply. So that is the exact same symptom I had when the last pump failed, when it would just stop clicking. So diesel heater non-functional. So as soon as that happened, because I was fine to sit here and ride the storm out. I got heat, I got plenty of gas for the generator, for solar, and I was okay with it. But now the diesel heater's not going to work. So I jump on the phone to start looking at where can we travel to to get out of this storm. And Santa Fe, New Mexico, looked like, you know, it was outside of this storm. Temperatures in the 50s, 60s. So I said, okay, we can drive there. It's like 220 miles from here. So... I was waiting on packages. Well, come to find out, both of my packages were delivered today in town this morning. So I packed everything back up. We had just gotten all settled here at this spot, packed everything back up. We drove into town, got the two packages. While we're in town, it really starts snowing. The temperature just dropped right off. And so now I'm like, I don't really want to drive in this kind of weather. It's just, you know, it's nerve-wracking. So, remember I used to heat the, in here with a Mr. Buddy heater? Well, so we swung by Walmart, and I picked up another Mr. Buddy heater because my other one, when I was in New York, I left it in uh, my mom's storage room, storage closet, because I didn't think I was ever going to need it again. So we just got another Mr. Buddy heater and a couple of more cans of propane. I have plenty of propane. I've got the big tank. So the big tank is outside right now. All my extra water jugs are up in the cab. I've put my windshield reflectix up right here. So we're blocking off uh, between the back end here and the cab, and that really helps a lot um, for air conditioning also. That really helps. It just closes this area in and makes it a lot smaller. And of course the cab is uh, for very hot when the sun's out, very cold when it's this kind of weather. Um, so we, we came from Walmart, got my packages, went to Walmart, came back here to this spot, by the time we got back here, look at all this snow. This is crazy. So they were right on with their forecast of many, many inches of snow. So I turned on the heater. This guy is just soaking it up. He doesn't care, I guess, as long as he's with me. And he's plenty warm. He knows to keep his distance from that thing. He's very familiar with the heaters. And so I'm just putting on some... Mad Men on uh, 
Amazon Prime and I'm going to sit here and try to relax and depending on what it looks like tomorrow, ideally I'd like to get up tomorrow and get out of here and drive to Santa Fe and get out of this storm. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I don't know if the weather is going to let us get out of here tomorrow. I mean, if we get 10 inches of snow tonight, I don't even know if I can get out of where I'm sitting. We might have to sit here till it all melts. I've got plenty of food, plenty of water, gas for the generator. I've got plenty of propane. Um, truck's got plenty of fuel in it. So this kind of stinks. This really stinks. I want to get out of here. But man, you know, I don't know what kind of uh, snow clearing they do here. And between here and Santa Fe, I don't know what kind of road it is. It's not interstate. It's, uh, you know, two-lane roads, most likely. And I don't know what kind of condition they're going to be in, so... I don't know. This kind of stinks. We're okay right now. We're okay right now. Good morning, everyone. So we spent the night um, with no heat. So the Mr. Buddy heater, that thing, you know, it makes a lot of heat. So I'm running that thing. <laughs> And my carbon monoxide, my carbon monoxide, come here, stop. My carbon monoxide detector never showed any, it was always at zero, stop. And so I started feeling like I had the flu. I had an upset stomach, stop. Jesus, I'm not having any fun either, dog, okay? Um, I started feeling like I had the flu. I had an upset stomach. I was dizzy. And so I look up, what are the symptoms? So anyways, I shut the heater off and then I was paranoid about turning it back on. So we went to bed. I got Lefty up on the bed. I covered him with the, he slept great. I covered him with the sleeping bag. He was just over there dreaming and twitching and all kinds of stuff. And I, I wore uh, thermals, socks. Um, which is really unusual for me. I normally don't do that because I have a hard time sleeping in anything except just uh, shorts and a t-shirt, but um, I slept. We laid there. Uh, I slept. I fell asleep at 10 till 12, 12 till 2. two like every two hours I woke up for some reason. I had to get up and take a leak two times in the middle of the night. Boy, that was cold. <laughs> um, but then six o'clock this morning, I woke up and a little while later, the sun started to come up. So I went out, there was about, uh, cause the temperature is not super cold. So the snow is heavy and uh, it's, it's kind of melting ish, you know, like the roads are clear. It's only taken one scraping. Driving in snow, I've been driving in snow my whole life in New York. I have no issues with it. So we, I had to get the truck de-thawed, truck fired right up, let it sit there and warm, it up, up, warm up enough to clean off the windshield. And the only thing that was outside was the propane tank. So I threw that inside and we put it in gear and drove out of that camp. Um, I felt definitely a lot of, uh, you know, it, it's, 10 inches of wet snow on top of wet mud. And so I was feeling the front end, but I kept right at it and we got out of that camp and got onto the paved road, no problem. And so the plan, we're driving to Santa Fe, 229 miles from where we are to Santa Fe to a spot I picked out. Temperatures are really nice there. So we gotta get out of here. So I, I mapped the route. Uh, 285 south and back up the way here where 285 head south instead of coming into Salida there was a flashing sign said you needed to chain up 
and that's not something I do. I have like this bag of chains that were in the truck when I bought it. They're still back there. I couldn't tell you how to put them on. And so I didn't go that way. I turned around and then came into town here. We're sitting in Walmart parking lot. Um, in hindsight, spending the night in Walmart parking lot might not have been a bad idea. Um, there's some rigs out here. I can see is the guy walking his dog and so definitely some people stayed here last night. So I'm making a cup of coffee finally, getting the truck situated. I just basically threw us in gear and pulled out of that camp. The bed was still um, unfolded and you know, just a real mess in here. And it's still a mess. I mean, look at it. This propane tank had 10 inches of snow like melted to it. And that's the best I could do getting it cleaned off before I threw it inside. I got to throw out a bag of garbage um, I'm so disappointed that my diesel heater failed on us. Uh, so disappointed. I mean, we could have been living in luxury, and I've did it many times. I'm so mad at this diesel heater. When I really needed it, I mean really needed it, it wasn't there for us. And I'm going to F around with it and try to get it to work. And, and I have another one. I have a spare back in New York. God, it's so frustrating because that thing would have made this truck just like any other night. Nice and warm and toasty. So, anyways, it's, uh, I don't know, 7.30, 8 a.m., something like that. I, my coffee's done, so I'm going to drink a cup of coffee. The truck's nice and warm now from the, the heat uh, running, so at least we're comfortable and now I gotta try to figure out how to get the F out of this town. I don't know if there is any way to get out of here without um, going over a pass. I don't know. I gotta try to figure that out. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got cooking out here. If you can see the the mountains off in the distance with the clouds hovering over them really pretty going dirt bike riding today yeah I don't think so holy cannoli boy do we need to get out of this place I just kicked the bumper in this whole pile of... Let's see if I can do it here. Ah. Yeah, that one's stuck. That's better. Well, it's definitely looking a lot better than it was when we pulled out of that camp this morning. I mean, holy moly. It was a nightmare. I should go in and buy a snow brush. But you know what? I'm not gonna, because I don't ever want to get caught in the snow again. Sick of it. This is why I left New York. Yeah. Well, if everything survives this escapade, like my, my wires are just encased in ice up there. If everything survives this, then I'm gonna be glad for that. Just covered in road slush what a mess
Hi, everybody. So, day uh, two. So, we spent the night at Walmart. Wasn't the worst night. Definitely got cold. Finally fell asleep a little after midnight. And then um, woke up at 6 o'clock, something. Or no, 4.30. Some, somebody had the loudest generator known to man ripping um, on the back of this dilapidated Class A. They should be ashamed of themselves. Um, fell back asleep, woke up again at 7. So got got sleep, left you, slept up in the bed with me to stay warm. I wrapped him up in the uh, blanket, the diesel heater. I didn't even try it because I know it's broken again. <laughs> so I think my plan with that is I'm going to replace it and always run the new one at the correct settings. And I'm not running out of that dang tank. I think I'm getting debris in that tank, you know, whatever, somehow, and that it's getting in the fuel pumps because my fuel pump died on me. So anyways, we're getting ready to roll out of here. Um, I just went to McDonald's, got coffee, got an Egg McMuffin. My fever broke last night, I, I believe, because my head definitely cooled off. I'm, I'm not 100%. I still feel like I just washed the truck and now I feel like I'm going to fall over. Like I don't have any energy. You know, I haven't been able to eat correctly for three days. I just put my jeans on and they're so loose. <laughs> uh, I'm, in, I'm in rough shape. But I want to get out of here. Um, I've got us mapped into Santa Fe, so we're just going to drive. It's about a four hour drive. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, I got fuel, I got a cup of coffee. I'm gonna take an Advil while we're sitting here. I washed the truck. I just climbed up and cleaned the snow off of the um, solar panels. It snowed last night. It snowed another, uh, I'm gonna say six inches. Very heavy, wet snow. Uh, and the temperatures were hovering right around freezing, so it didn't really stick to the roads. It only piled up on things that it could get cold, like my solar panels and the motorcycle, because I had them all cleaned off yesterday. And then uh, this morning, about six, six inches of snow. Very heavy snow, too. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> take some Advil here, because I still do not feel... I am not 100% by far. I just really want to get somewhere and get settled. I am frazzled. All right, check in with you soon. Alamosa, cute little town. We just went through some really horrible countryside, so I'm glad to see some civilization here. Holy smokes. everybody so just woke up we're outside of Santa Fe drove here yesterday running from the Colorado blizzard weather I know the the weather in Colorado where we were it's gonna be back in the 70s and what um, all that snow was just gonna create a quest so he's ready Okay. Okay, we just got back from a little walk. Got him quieted down a little bit. So he's not raising hell. <laughs> um, so this place, 
there's I found it on freecampsites.net. It's just a I wanted a target so that while we were driving we had a place to arrive at. It's nothing worse than driving. You get to the end of the day, you've been driving all day, and then you have to find a place. To me, that's super stressful. I don't do well in that situation. Like I, you know, I'm kind of at the end of my ropes from driving all day. I just need to unload and relax. So when I have a target to go for, that's that's how I need to have it. So I just picked this place. Um, it's some kind of state. There's, it's a trailhead and there's a, a vault toilet over there. His and hers with some signage explaining the trailhead and what the trail, the history of the trail here. There's some, looks like horse corrals right over there. I don't know if they're still in use. They look like they they are kept up. I mean, the fencing is all intact and all that. There's no animals in there now, but it must be used at some point for loading and unloading. Maybe cows, but I think horses. Um, so the plan, I guess, it's Friday right now. So I'm trying to decide if we should move on. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. You see a doggy? Huh? I know. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Left. It's okay. Shh. Calm down, you. Oh, you like that, Robin? Oh, that's the spot. Right there. Huh. That's the spot. Okay. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. So I don't know, again, if we should travel. Because typically you want to arrive at a new place, like on a Monday or Tuesday. Because weekenders, you know, it's going to be more full on the weekend than it, than it is on a weekday. So today's Friday. we got about a five-hour drive before we get to Flagstaff. All right. So I think we're going to end up staying here. This, this place isn't great. It's just a place to be. Um, but I just don't feel like driving five hours today. Uh, 